Hey what's up guys, I'm Nizio Cole, and Ubisoft has just released an updated version of their Watch Dogs Legion post-launch content roadmap that they released a couple months ago, and we're going to talk about that in this video. So basically everything on that roadmap has just gotten shifted, as we saw with the late April content from the original roadmap that actually got delayed until early May, so they've released an updated roadmap with more realistic timelines. So what was late May on the original one got shifted to June 1st, what was late June got shifted to early July, and what was August is still August with a few more things. So the first thing we're going to talk about is the June 1st content. The Tactical Op 2 is still there, but they've added a new free operative called Helen, which I'm guessing is one of those like grandma spies that we saw a lot during the, the promotional stuff back in 2019. Like I talked about in my most recent video, they're also going to be adding a 60 FPS mode for next gen consoles. They're going to be adding a new free reward track, which I'm guessing has to do with music, like a music track maybe. And also the feature that personally I've been really excited for is cross gen multiplayer. This is going to be really, really exciting. One other thing though is that there's a big question mark. So I'm not sure what this means. I mean, nobody knows. It's just a question mark. So that's definitely going to be interesting to figure out what that's going to be. Now moving on to early July is pretty much the same. Literally the same. Everything is completely the same. So this is the main bloodline content. We have Wrench, we have Aiden, so there's nothing really too special to talk about there. But in August is where it gets really interesting. So PvP, Invasion, and Extraction have been shifted from the late May to August. In the original roadmap, pretty much the only thing we were getting in August was all Assassin's Creed stuff, but there's a whole bunch of other stuff here as well. So just like in the original one, we have the new playable character from Assassin's Creed, new Assassin's Creed mission, and world event. But we also have a resistance mode single player, more game improvements, which is very vague, and a new free reward track. I'm really, really curious to see what that what that means. I, I know they probably said it in some video somewhere, but I'm not actually sure what they mean by free reward track. I'm guessing it has to do with music, but I guess we'll just have to wait and see. So yeah, as long as they don't change it or nothing gets delayed, which I wouldn't count on that, this is the new timeline for the post-launch content. Hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think about this new roadmap. Are you excited? Are you kind of frustrated that it got delayed? Do you understand? Let me know your thoughts in the comments, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.